the squall. I'm Giulia and I'm Italian, and he's Mess from Denmark. And this is our home, Alba. After years living in the city, we gave in to the call of adventure and moved on our sailboat. We're currently sailing in the south of Italy, along the coast of Sicily. Subscribe to the channel and join us aboard for new adventures every week. In the previous episode, we sailed from Panarea to Lipari, where in addition to exploring the pretty island, we also made an error of judgement that kept us up a whole night and caused some damage to the boat. The weather is changing, and Aeolus and Neptune have already begun to release their gales. And so, in a hurry, we have to leave Lipari and the Aeolian Islands and embark on a journey to a safe harbour. We left the Olean Islands for good. We left the port, Porto Pignataro uh, this morning because we woke up and we saw that the sky had changed a lot. It was very cloudy and uh, rainy, uh, but it was still very hot uh, and no wind. And that's a sign that a warm front uh, is passing over us, uh, leaving a warm sector behind before the cold front and the gale comes. So we decided to leave uh, and just to cross over to mainland Sicily so that maybe we can cross the Clemencina Strait tomorrow and get back home. It's quite important that we exploit this, the only weather, the only good weather window we have for sailing because uh, it's quite risky to cross the strait when the sea is very rough. So hopefully we're gonna make it. There is a, a gale west of us in the um, South Iranian west sector and another gale in the Ionian Sea and we are basically the only place in the entire area where there's no wind. When we leave the security of the daily life to embark on a journey, we tend to worry only about how to reach our destination. We assess risks, make decisions, sometimes painful ones. We make mistakes, get back up and struggle to reach our destination. Along the way, we are convinced that once we conquer our promised land, all our sacrifices will be repaid by a condition of lasting bliss. But it is only when we finally land on the shores of our treasure island that we discover the truth. The bliss is there, but it is not lasting. And this is precisely what we have experienced on our own skin in Vulcano, Panarea and Lipari. The destination has repaid us for all the efforts of the journey, but it has offered us nothing but momentary glory. And only now we realize that it is often not so much the departure for the journey that presents us with the most difficult challenges, but the return. It is as if, once we leave our place in the tranquil everyday life, unseen forces close the gap after our passage, and we only realize it the moment we try to turn back. In an instant, the realization collapses upon us that our journey has taken us much further away than we thought. And we begin to realize that what we have done so far is nothing compared to what still lies ahead. Sail. 
if we think about it, these conditions would have intimidated us if we had faced them at the beginning of our cruise to the Aeolian Islands. At that point, the contrary winds were trapped in the bag of Aeolus. Now, however, they have broken free and they are howling against us. But this time, we are not afraid. We weighed our choices and strengthened by what we have learned, even through our mistakes, we have more confidence in ourselves. And it is with this period that between squalls we make use of those same winds to reach the port of Milazzo. We are moored in the port of Milazzo, Marina del Nettuno. It's not raining anymore, so now we're going for a walk and we're going to explore a bit the um, citadel and see what the city has to offer. It is no casualty that we have landed in Milazzo because we follow Ulysses' route. In fact, it is said that it was right here in Milazzo that Ulysses landed, pushed by the contrary winds of the Bag of Aeolus, snuck into the cave of the Cyclop Polyphemo and blinded him. Not only this, but also other more recent stories still live within the stone walls of the town of Milazzo, such as that of the passion between a nobleman's daughter and a simple soldier, for which the maiden was forced to take vows in the ancient Benedictine monastery in the upper town. A too strong love made her transgress the vows, and as punishment she was walled up alive inside the monastery. Centuries later, the ghost of the young woman still wanders the corridors of the castle and strolls along the edge of the cliff. As for Ulysses, Milazzo is just a place for a brief stop for us. Neptune, god of the sea, is on the hunt for us sailors, still angry for the disfigurement of his son Polyphemus. And so, at first light, we cast off our moorings, ready to face the last great challenge, the Strait of Messina in unstable weather. This morning at sunrise we left from the port of Milazzo, Marina del Nettuno and now we are sailing towards the Messina Strait. We are sailing with engine and head sail. We decided not to hoist the main sail because there are thunderstorms all around us and we prefer not to have too much sail out and to be able to wrap everything up uh, and be ready for the storms. Um, there is a thunderstorm here uh, right behind us. We hope that it discharges everything far away from us and, um, and all passes over without too much trouble. Other than that, the weather forecast is not too bad, it's not great either. There are gales all around us and we have around one meter waves. We can expect thunderstorms for the course of the day. For now it is a very comfortable sail, but we are a bit alert today. Here the gusts get more intense, the waves get bigger and steeper. And this is where we find ourselves at the peak of it all, in a place where opposing streams of energy unfold all around us and flow through us. When we look back, we see idyllic sunlit lands, places which used to be our destination, then granted us rest and now belong to the past. If we look ahead, we see difficulties that seem unfaceable. Waves crashing, dense black clouds, thunder and lightning. And then fear assails us and we would like to turn back, we would like to turn the bow and reach those sunny shores from which we started. But by now, it is too late. Higher and higher waves push us forward. The magical portal we have passed through has closed behind us.
were taking turns and uh, hand steering because we don't really trust the autopilot with big waves. I think some of them are three meters. I don't know, it's very, always difficult to measure waves. Uh, but yeah, we're hand steering so that we can better control the boat. Uh, we are almost at the Messina Strait and we hope that once we have past Capo Peloro here, the waves are going to be a bit smaller, at least it's what the forecast says. Uh, but otherwise, uh, all good. We managed, for now, we managed to avoid all the thunderstorms. And uh, yeah, it's exciting! And here we come to the last gate, the one that separates the world we have explored on this side from the everyday life to which we would like to return. For us, the gate is the Strait of Messina, this time with much more frightening features than before. We are ready to enter the Messina Strait. From the dark blanket spread by the guards over our heads, a thick rain begins to fall. Perhaps a trick to intimidate us. Questa ci mancava, il temporale nello stretto di Messina. But looking closely, those droplets are very much like us. They too started from the sea level and rose to reach their destination in the clouds. And now they face the journey back to this great body of water. Like us, they too, driven by an unchallengeable force, struggle to return home. The school we had in the Messina Strait was not too bad. Um, I think we're gonna get another one, we're gonna get a wet again. It's just like some stronger wind and some rain. Uh, but now we have to cross We're not using much engine actually. No. Officially out of the Messina Strait, but there is another squall outside. And Mess just told me that he saw like a vortex where apparently like the, the current was like spinning around. Uh, one of these phenomena that you can you can get in the Messina Strait. Unfortunately, I didn't see it. Couldn't get it in video. Now it's raining outside, so I'm making some lunch. Uh, I have some leftover dal and naan bread from yesterday, uh, so I'm just gonna put that in a plate and go out and eat. We are We have passed the most difficult challenge of this journey, not only because we and the boat are safe and sound, but because we have conquered our fears and have a new strength, that of awareness. We have learned that once we leave home, the hardest part of the journey is not reaching the destination, but returning. It is difficult because traps, pitfalls and temptations might trick us and make us abandon the idea of returning home. Somewhat like multiple mythological creatures hijacked Ulysses from Ithaca. Yet, with the awareness that this adventure has given me, I feel I can say that the journey cannot be called such without there being a return. Our journey, however adventurous, would not be complete if we cannot find our way out of the world we have reached. Even if that work is idyllic. Perhaps the suitable dimension for us human beings, at least for now, is not a destination, not a place of eternal bliss, but it is the journey, a path of tribulations and challenges. 
And maybe we can find a few moments of bliss in this earthy dimension of ours, in the very challenges we face, hymning change and experience. This is what I experienced there in the middle of the strait in the pouring rain. Once the fears are conquered, all that remains is the joy of our endeavor and the knowledge that yes, we human beings can do it. And it is as we look back on our journey that we realize that, in fact, even the return is not what we commonly understand it to be. We're not going backward, but forward. In returning from any adventure, there is always something more than on the way out. And that something more is within us. In life, one can never go back. One can only move forward and continue on the journey. On a closer look, our whole existence is just a path stretched forward until the last day on which a great return awaits us, which will take us even further forward. Thank you for staying aboard Alba during our journey through these legendary seas. I wish you to always be able to find not only the courage to leave, but also and especially the strength to return. <laughs>